His pastry skills made him a household name on Food Network's Ace of Cakes, but baker extraordinaire Duff Goldman is proving that cooking savory foods is just as creative as baking. Yeah, it's all part of his new daytime show, Duff Ace of Taste. See what they did there? And he joins us now to dish on this new satisfying adventure. Duff, what's up? Welcome to Houston Life. It's great to see you. Hey, thanks for having me. It's nice to be here. It is so great. Okay, I, we have a throwback photo. Um, you and I actually have met once before a minute ago, back in 2012. Aww. You were here at KPRC. Whoa. That's a little throwback. That's okay. So you can tell the era from the hat that I'm wearing. <laughs> no. I usually know, like, okay, that was. I knew that hat. It was wearing it backwards. Yeah, fitted. Yeah, totally. I, That's amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> I had to dig that one out. But I think you were here in studio because your line had just come out. Like all of your baking stuff had just come out into like the mainstream. So it's so cool that we're seeing you in this different light. And clearly, you are much more than just baking. I mean, you eat other food besides cakes and cookies, and that's where sort of the idea for this particular show came. Yeah, you know, what we wanted to do, uh, you know, now that I'm a new dad, I've been cooking a lot at home, and I'm just, I find that, like, the skills that I sort of learned being a professional chef are really helping me, uh, you know, in my house, like, run my kitchen and feed my family, you know, so, you know, doing things like, you know, making a big pot of chili, like, one, I show people how to really make a nice, real pot of Texas chili, there it is. But also, um, like show them like how to make a bunch of food. So it's like, yeah, a big pot of chili is gonna last like four days. Right. Well, not in my house, but most houses. <laughs> <laughs> you are making us hungry. That cornbread looks so delicious. And uh, Duff, mm -hmm. we were chatting a little bit during the commercial break. Reaction from fans who are super stunned <laughs> that you actually cook. You were saying that for the people in your inner circle, they're like, finally, you're cooking on TV. But to a lot of your fans, they're they're shocked. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, it's, I think it's really exciting. Cause like, you know, I, I think people really, they, they enjoy the way that I kind of explain how baking works. Like when I do all the baking championship shows, people like, uh, you know, oh, they, they, they like hearing like sort of the science and the chemistry behind things. And the nice thing is I'll bring the same sort of energy to, uh, to savory stuff. Like when you're putting a, a steak together, when you're putting a quiche together, you know, different things like that. I, there's still a reason why you kind of do things. And, you know, I'm like, a, I'm just, a natural teacher. I just enjoy it. So this will be a lot of fun for me. Well, we are so excited for the show. And let's just throw it back. Because you, this is all about a passion since you were four years old. You say you've been cooking since you were four years old. Wow. You're first fired from a job at 14. What, you made something <laughs> too big? What? What's the story there? Yeah, I was, so I was working at this bagel place. And uh, there was like, uh, like, there was like these pre, like, pre-measured cheese and pre-measured meat and pre-measured everything that you would put on the sandwich. So people would order the sandwich. I would just open the pre-measured thing, stick it on, and, you know, the sandwich would go out. Very kind of idiot-proof. But personally, I was like, you know, if I was getting the sandwich, I would want, like, three times that much meat. So I was putting too much of the meat. And like, I'd be like, oh, I need more cheese than that. So I was like taking cheese from other ones. And so I was making like nice big sandwiches for people. And then like the manager's like, listen, you know, we get it, you know, want to make a nice sandwich for people, but we have this thing called food cost. And you can't just be giving away, you know, 40 pounds of, of roast beef on a sandwich that cost somebody three bucks. Well, you know. <laughs> but they would have sold more food, though, if it had tasted better. So in your defense, I think you knew exactly what you were doing, Duff. Hey, some fun facts Thank about you. you. Uh, we understand you're also a graffiti artist. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, I was. I, you know, I can't really, I'm not as fast. I can't run from the cops anymore. But when I was a kid, yeah, it was, uh, it's kind of how I got into cooking was um, I was a graffiti artist and spray paint's pretty expensive, you know, when you're 13, 14 years old. So, uh, you know, I went and got a job. And really the only place you can kind of get a job, make 14 and a half, is like flipping burgers. Um, so, uh, you know, I started working in like fast food. Uh, I was 14 and a half. I went to my guidance counselor in, in junior high and I had to get like a permission form uh, and I got a job and that was it. I was just, I got a job so I could afford spray paint so I could spray paint you know, trains and stuff. Wow. <laughs> it seems like, you know, as I like to say, busy people get it done. You, you do different things that you know that you like and that you're creative. And once you've done kind of all these things and these different types of shows, Duff, what do you love most about this new show? Because I feel like now that we're kind of chatting, it, it's more of really who you are, right? Mm. 
Yeah, it really is. I mean, you know, I think what's nice is like I'm bringing everyone into my family. You know, my, my wife's on the show a lot. My, my daughter, Josephine's on the show a lot. Because um, you know, most of the episodes are it's me cooking for one or both of them. Uh, and uh, I think that like, you know, showing people like this is how I cook for my family might give them ideas like, oh, this is how I cook for my family. You know, and uh, and it's also just fun to like see babies eat cake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's it been like for you, Duff, to be on the other side of things and actually serve as a judge? Because you're on a number of different shows yeah. on the Food Network, right? Like the Spring Baking mm -hmm. Championship. Uh, I know you and Valerie Bertinelli, you do like the kids uh, baking show. So when you're in that judge role and sort of that mentor role, how are you approaching this? Because you know what it's like to be a chef and to be under pressure. Yeah, yeah. Well, also, um, when I first got on Food Network, I was doing all those cake competitions. And so I was the one that was being judged. And I remember there were times when, like, you know, like the judges, they were all really great cake decorators and pastry chefs that we had back then. But sometimes they were like a little, oh, look at that. Sometimes they were sort of mean, uh, you know, like people could be a little, I don't know, they wanted to be like Simon Cow. And so I, I always told myself like, you know, when I'm a judge, I'm going to like be able to say the things I want to say, but I'm going to be a, a little more kind about it, you know, because I feel like you don't, you don't have to be mean to like help people understand what they did wrong you know like you can you can be cool about it yeah and so i try to do that and it's such a creative process right especially in the cake decorating or when you're creating in the kitchen it's a creative process it's a part of your heart and soul yeah yeah and it's i, I think it's important that like people that judge realize like you know the the food that people are making i mean this is something that they are making and giving it to you like there's just an unspoken I don't know. There's an unspoken gratitude there that, you know, when somebody makes some food and gives it to you, you know, it's a very personal thing. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think it's important to like, you know, really encourage them and let them know like nothing they do is bad. You know, technically there's some science that you have to kind of figure out, but you know, and that's really what we judge on. It's just like, was it baked too long? Was it mixed too long? Is, you know, the, not the right ingredients was in there. So it didn't rise right. You know, like, you know, we're really judging on kind of the craft of it, not necessarily the art. Well, Duff Goldman, uh, congrats on the brand new show. It's great to see you. I'm so glad that you and Courtney could be reunited here on Houston Life. Yeah. So great to see you again, friend. <laughs> we'll see you on the road sometime. Next time you're in H-Town, you got to stop by. Yeah, you bet. You bet. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, and in the meantime, we'll be watching you on the television. A reminder to our viewers that Food Network's new daytime series, Duff Ace of Taste, premieres Sunday, April 24th at 11 a.m. If you'd like more information, as always, you can check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. That is right. It's going to be a hit. It sure will. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including some ideas to help you spruce up your home this spring. Sounds great. We'll be right back.